The safety of our community relies on a responsible partnership between LIT students and the institution. Our COVID-19 student charter, together with our COVID-19 guidelines and responsibilities for students, outline the commitment expected of all students throughout the academic year 2021. COVID-19 is an illness that can affect your lungs and airways, cause serious illness and in some cases prove fatal. It is caused by a virus called coronavirus. It is vital that we all learn to combat this virus and play our part to keep LIT COVID free. To combat COVID-19, we must understand how it is spread, how to spot the symptoms and how to protect ourselves. How is COVID-19 spread? The virus is spread from one person to another by an infected person releasing fluid or droplets by sneezing, coughing or speaking when in close contact with another person. Touching surfaces that someone who has the virus has coughed or sneezed on and bringing your unwashed hands into contact with your face. The fluid or droplets must then enter our mouth, nose or eyes for us to be exposed. Close contact is defined as spending more than 15 minutes of face-to-face -face contact within two meters of an infected person in any setting. Living in the same house or shared accommodation as an infected person or sitting within two seats of an infected person in any direction on an airplane. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? Common symptoms of COVID-19 include a fever, which is a high temperature of 38 degrees C or above, a cough, this can be any kind of cough, not just a dry cough, a shortness of breath or breathing difficulties. There is also evidence that a loss of taste and or smell can be experienced. It can take up to 14 days for symptoms of COVID-19 to appear, and they can be similar to symptoms of cold and flu. Some people infected with the virus, so-called asymptomatic cases, have experienced no symptoms at all. Caution, do not come to campus if you have any symptoms of COVID-19. Also, do not come to campus if you have been diagnosed with COVID-19, are awaiting COVID-19 test results, have been in close contact with a confirmed COVID-19 case, or if you are still completing a period of 14 days restricted movement following international travel. If a student develops COVID-19 symptoms while in college, they must go home immediately. The affected student must ensure mandatory face mask is in place and decontaminate hands prior to leaving to reduce the risk of spreading COVID-19. Always maintain physical distancing while leaving. Call the LIT Health Unit and self-isolate at home. Do not attend the LIT Health Unit. In the case of a student developing symptoms at college and it is not possible for them to go home directly, the isolation room must be used while they await arrangements to go home. COVID-19 can make anyone seriously ill, but for some people the risk is higher. There are two levels of higher risk, very high risk, also called extremely vulnerable, and high risk. There is different advice to protect people in each group. The very high risk people should follow the advice on cocooning. The high risk people should follow the advice on how to protect themselves from coronavirus. You should refer to the HSE website and follow the public health advice. Contact your GP if you are concerned or confused about your status in either of the high risk groups. Please see below list of health unit and GP contacts for each campus. It may be useful to save these contacts to your mobile phone. There is also an emergency out of hours service covering evenings and weekends for each campus. Please see below for details. Again, it may be useful to save these contacts to your mobile phone. Contact tracing. Students should keep a personal daily contact log of persons they have had close contact with, including person's name, date and locations. This data can be used for contact tracing purposes. 
Please remember, close contact is defined as spending more than 15 minutes of face-to-face -face contact within two meters of a person in any setting. It is strongly advised that all students download and use the HSE COVID Tracker app. COVID Tracker is a free app for your mobile phone. It will help to protect each other and slow the spread of COVID-19. How do I protect myself from COVID-19? The best way to prevent the spread of COVID-19 is to use proper hand hygiene, practice respiratory hygiene, and practice physical distancing. Hand hygiene. Wash hands thoroughly and regularly and avoid touching your face with your hands. You should wash your hands after coughing or sneezing, before and after eating, if you were in contact with someone displaying signs of sickness, after touching potentially contaminated surfaces, and before and after wearing gloves. You should also wash your hands before and after being on public transport, before and after being in a crowd, when you arrive and leave buildings including your home, after changing work task, before having a cigarette or vaping, after touching any high contact surface. In the next slide you'll see a short video on how to wash your hands properly. Wet hands with water and apply enough soap to cover all surfaces of the hands. Let the water run smoothly to avoid touching the tap later on. Rub hands palm to palm to obtain a good quantity of foam. Then rub right palm over the back of left hand with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Rub again palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Rub the back of your fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked, repeating this action for each hand. Rub rotationally left thumb clasped in right palm and vice versa. To clean the tips of the fingers, rub rotationally backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand in left palm and vice versa. Rinse hands thoroughly with running water. Dry hands thoroughly with a single-use towel. If the tap is not elbow operated, use this towel to turn off the tap without touching it directly. Your hands are now clean and safe. Using hand sanitizer. Apply hand sanitizer in the same manner as you would wash your hands, thoroughly covering all areas of the hands. Apply it in all the previously mentioned situations also. If hands are visibly dirty, wash hands with soap and water prior to using the sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is a good substitute if soap and water are not available to wash your hands. Respiratory hygiene. Practice good respiratory hygiene at all times. When coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or a tissue. Do not cough or sneeze into your hands. Place the used tissues into the bin and wash hands thoroughly immediately. Physical distancing. Physical distancing, also known as social distancing, aims to decrease or interrupt the spread of COVID-19. This is done by minimizing contact between potentially infected individuals and healthy individuals. The current recommended distance to be maintained between people to minimize a risk of transmission is two meters. There is very little risk if you are passing someone briefly in a corridor, but try to keep a distance of two meters where possible. Where the two meter distance cannot be met, a face covering must be worn and a minimum of one meter distance should be adhered to. This applies to all individuals in all settings. Face coverings are mandatory indoors on all LIT campuses. 
they must be worn at all times. If you cannot wear a face covering for medical reasons, please contact your head of department or course leader. Wearing a cloth face covering is essential in situations where it is difficult to practice physical distancing, for example, where two meters cannot be met. Face coverings may help prevent people who do not know they have the virus from spreading it to others. Each individual must wear a face covering in any situation where they feel there is a lack of physical distance and in crowded or congested areas. Face coverings should be a minimum of two ply and be washed daily at a minimum temperature of 60 degrees with detergent. You do not have to sterilise face coverings. Wash it in a washing machine or by hand as you would any other item of clothing. You should wash your hands before and after using a face covering. How to safely wear a face covering. Wash your hands well with soap and water before putting it on. Without touching the front, put it on so that it covers your nose and mouth. It should go right over your nose and the bottom of your chin. Hook or tie the covering straps so that it fits closely and well to your face. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth at all times. Take the covering off from behind. Store it in a plastic bag until it can be washed. Once it is off, wash your hands well with soap and water. This is very important. Wash your covering regularly with normal detergent in a normal wash. Don't forget, a face covering may help prevent people who do not know they have the virus from spreading it to others. It is not a replacement for washing your hands or keeping the two meter distance. General precautions for protecting ourselves against COVID-19 include avoiding crowded places, avoiding the sharing of work equipment, food items, cutlery, etc, cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched surfaces, avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth, do not share passenger lifts, do not congregate in groups and do not shake hands or make unnecessary physical contact. When using welfare facilities such as the canteen or toilets, allow appropriate time and space to facilitate the correct levels of hygiene and physical distancing. Be mindful of physical distancing measures. You must respect the space available to ensure physical distancing. This may require a longer wait. When traveling to campus, it is preferable that you do so alone. Avoid public transport if possible. If this is not possible, Avoid sitting too close to others, avoid touching surfaces such as handrails where possible, bring hand sanitizer and wear a face covering as per public health advice. If you must carpool, sit as far apart as the vehicle allows, keep windows of vehicles open at least partially, cover your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing, wipe regularly touch points in the car, wash your hands before and after travelling and all occupants should wear face coverings. Travelling to Ireland. If you're travelling to Ireland from a location that is on the COVID-19 green list, you are required to fill out the online COVID-19 passenger locator form before you arrive. Failure to complete this form could result in a fine or imprisonment. The green list is available at the link below. If you're travelling to Ireland from a location that is not on the COVID-19 green list, you are still required to fill out the online COVID-19 passenger locator form before you arrive. You must also restrict your movements for 14 days when you arrive, and this includes citizens and residents returning to Ireland. Restricting your movements means avoiding contact with other people and social situations as much as possible. You can still go outside to exercise by yourself as long as you keep two meters distance from other people. Restricting your movements also means do not use public transport if possible. If you have no option but to use public transport, you must wear a face covering. Do not visit others. Do not meet face to face with anyone who is at higher risk from COVID-19. Do not go to the shop unless absolutely necessary. If you have no option but to go to the shop, you must wear a face covering. Student accommodation. 
students living in shared accommodation should adhere to all the preventative measures covered in this training session at all times. If students minimise their risk of exposure to COVID-19 in their life off campus, this reduces the likelihood they will become infected and introduce the virus onto campus. While living in student accommodation, you should avoid visiting residences that are not your own and avoid having guests at your residence. Be vigilant, note signs and symptoms of COVID-19 in other students. Seek medical advice where required. Support other students to self-isolate. Reduce the time in shared spaces indoors. Use face coverings in shared spaces where physical distancing is difficult. Keep surfaces within the accommodation clean at all times and avoid the sharing of items with others where possible. Mental health. We recognise that college life can be stressful and challenging at times, and even more so during the pandemic. To support you during your time here, we provide a comprehensive range of services and supports. For more information, please visit the link below. If you are in distress or crisis, please email counselling at lit.ie or phone 061 293 106. Finally, look after yourself and others. Practice physical distancing, hand hygiene, respiratory hygiene, and wear your face covering where required. Again, refer to the LIT COVID-19 Student Charter and the LIT COVID-19 Guidelines and Responsibilities for Students for more information.